Welcome, welcome to the show. It is me. It is me, your girl Laborley, and we have now to those on IG and this please, part. The podcast. Yes, yes, you have now tuned into ambitiously the podcast. Um, you know, we do we do things a little different over here. So I'm doing things a little different today, and I'll get into the the shenanigans in a minute, but I am I'll tell you in a minute. Today is Media Monday first. Let me just start by saying that. Um, today is Media Monday. Today is the day that we get into the trending topics, what's, what's going on, what's happening um, in the media, specifically within our community. But I'm, ooh, Wednesday, I got some mm, I got some people to get into, and not all of them belong to our community. But we'll talk about that later, later. Um, but there's a few things that I need to get off my chest really quickly before we get into everything that we got to get into this evening. Like, first things first, join the conversation. You can always join the conversation, drop a comment. Um, you can leave, you can send me a text or you can call in. The number is 443-850-4828. 443-850-4828. Or you can ask me to drop the link. I will. If you're watching from IG, um, leave a comment and you can join in. I, I'm quite sure it's I have accessibility to that as well. Um, but just remember, if I do bring you on camera, the thing I need you to do is be on your best behavior. I'm not here for your shenanigans, and I hope you're not here to bring me none. I'm, like, I'm not for it. I'm not for it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not for it. Um, big shout out to Little Rock. Rock. Um, big shout out to Doc. I see y'all. I love y'all. Thanks. Hey, babies. Um Remember to like, share, and subscribe to this podcast. We need every like, every share, and every subscription. We're grateful. Don't ever get it twisted. We are we are definitely grateful over here. Um, so tonight we're doing things a little bit differently. I'm not sure if anybody follows me on IG. Could you let me know if the IG situation is working? Because I can't tell. Um, which hold on, let me see. Maybe I can tell. Hold on, let me see, let me see. I might be able to tell. But um, we are actually doing the show from not only Facebook, but... Hey, hey, you big part. Hold on, let me... Okay, I see myself. Okay, hold on. Maybe it's just... I have to hit go live on both of them. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so yeah, we live on IG now too. I had to make sure, like, what is going on? Hey, you big purr, Doc. Hey, you big purr. Ow! Hey, you big purr. Hold on, let me put that on the screen. Oh, uh, we are here. Hey, you big purr. Hi, Doc, honey, bookie boo. Um, yes, I am on um IG right now. I'm streaming live from IG right now. Um, I'm just trying something different, and since now we have those capabilities to do so, I feel like why not? We should be streaming from everywhere. He said, go ahead, big head. Hey, yeah. Um, But anyway, so we're doing it. <clears throat> we are doing the show basically from both, um, well, from the original platforms that we always done it from, which is Twitch, um, Facebook, and YouTube. But we've also added IG to the mix. So welcome, IG. And and we, we were able to add IG to the mix. Um in the format, well, somewhat, in the format in which we uh, do the show on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube, but um, it just doesn't have all of the um, characteristics that you would see if you watch the show from Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube, because um, I'm not about to listen. It's a whole lot of politics within the situation, but if you are watching from Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch, Thank you. I love you. Thanks for the love and sh being here. Hi, Aunt Sandy. I saw you. Thank you for the love, boo boops. Appreciate you. Um, so, yeah, we're doing the show from all streaming platforms. But like I said, um, today is Media Monday. Hold on. Um, today is Media Monday, and today is the day. Today is the day where we get into all of the shenanigans um, that's going on. And so... Today, I wanted to start. I had another direction I wanted to go in. But 
I want to start with this because I feel like this is also something that we should. Yes, baby, it's Media Monday. We've had a lot of them now. See, they knew here. They don't know Doc. They don't know that it's Media Monday, but we about to put them on real quick. Um, So I wanted to, like I said, I wanted to go in a different direction when I started the show today. But I think that I want to start with this particular um, situation. And the reason being is because... Um, it might be a court case that I would like to cover later on, on a, maybe on a Wet and Wild Wednesday. We still have um, some more of this last case we were covering on Wednesday, so it won't be this Wednesday. But I might take a break from the um, Diddy cases because he has so many. And I, y'all, I'm not even going to tell y'all I heard he got another one, but whatever. Um, allegedly, he has another one. Um but I want to, I might take a break from the Diddy and just cover this because it seems like it's, it, it takes us in another direction. So the case that I'm talking about is this um, Jonathan Majors case. It's interesting because I don't, if you haven't seen the footage, um, I'm just going to just, oh, I thought about showing it, but I, we got an hour and I'm not getting ready to waste my time showing footage that you can go look up on the internet. But as far as this footage is concerned, um, when I saw the footage at first, it didn't look like he was trying, to me, This I'm being objective. Um, and I'm also stating my opinion. This is not does not reflect upon the opinions of anybody who's associated with Ambitiously the Podcast. This is just my personal opinion. And, that, and, and it, no and no way of reflects on ambitiously the podcast either. Um, but in my opinion, it didn't look like what was described um, initially in the initial arrest. And then there's also other footage um, of her supposedly trying to take herself out. Um, her supposedly, <laughs> her supposedly trying to take herself out in the closet. And he went and got, he called the police and the paramedics. So I don't know that I believe everything that, I don't believe, it doesn't look like he's abused, sorry. It doesn't look like he's doing anything crazy to her other than trying to fight her off. And then in my mind, it's like, why did he, if he was doing so much, wait a minute, Doc, if he was doing so much, why, if he was doing all the things that was said that he did, that he was doing and that he did, why did he take off running down the street? And why was she chasing after him? You see what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense to me. But let's get to this case. Let's um, get to the original. And then we'll get to the update. So Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg says that the Manhattan DA's office um, at the Manhattan... <coughs> Hold on. Let me clear my throat. Because I want to read this vividly. At the Manhattan DA's office, we are committed to centering, survivor, um, centering survivors in all of our work. The evidence presented throughout the trial illustrated a cycle of psychological and emotional abuse and escalating patterns of... Um, ooh, ooh. All right, so they're trying to say it's escalating patterns of... of, of <laughs> I would say DV, but whatever. Okay, so um, Brex continues. Today, a jury determined the pattern of abuse um, and such were um, cumulated with Mr. Majors assaulting and harassing his girlfriend. See, that's why it doesn't make sense to me. Okay, let me finish reading, and then I'll, I'll tell you why it doesn't make sense to me. So, um harassing his girlfriend. We thank the jury for its service and the survivor for bravely telling her story despite having to relive the trauma on, on the stand. Y'all see that's right, but whatever. Um, Jonathan Majors was just found guilty in his criminal trial after a jury decided that the, um, the, the actor's fate following I'm sorry, y'all. I got too many devices on my, on my in my hand and on my lap and all that. Um, after a jury decided the actor's fate following three days of deliberation, 
the verdict came down Monday in NYC, and the actor was found guilty on one count of reckless assault in the third degree and guilty of harassment. Remember, he initially um he initially been slapped with eight separate charges, all pertaining to alleged assault and harassment. But before things kick, kicked off, the DA's office agreed to drop four of them in the effort to consolidate their complaint. Child, 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 child. So wait a minute, let me read Doc's comment real quick. Sorry, I stand by. I don't date white <laughs> white women point blank period. Mm, child, child, child. Um, as a man, I'm not chasing something that can end me. Why would I um why why would my um threat run? It, okay, so then we're gonna get to that in a minute. Cause I need to mm, doc, 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 baby. We gotta talk about this. This is crazy. Um, so he was acquitted of two other charges, one count of an int intentional assault and one count of aggravated uh, harassment. Now he faces a maximum sentence up to a year behind board bars. Like, really? I'm not done. The trial, which lasted about two weeks, had some standout moments right from the jump and opening statements. The prosecution alleged that Mr. Um, Mr. Majors had a history of um, abuse in his relationships and that the March incident in question was simply the latest example. Yeah. I'm gonna keep. Um, prosecutors claim Majors and his accuser, Grace Jabari, um, had gotten into an argument that night after she discovered some texts, some text messages from another woman. But asserted Majors was the one who escalated things, allegedly twisting his arm behind, I'm um, twisting her arm behind her back and her fingers as well. They also claim he threw her back into the car there were um they were in after she attempted to exit. In other words, they alleged um they alleged the alleged um they alleged that he roughed her up and the six person jury agreed. Listen. Listen, oh my gosh, let me, mm, mm, mm. chow, chow, chow. So Doc said, me fighting a bear, I'm not mystical, save me, I can't fight a bear. Listen, so, all right, in the footage, it, it does show him putting her back in the vehicle, but in the, in the footage, it does not show him twisting her arm behind her back, so it's like, mm, that's hearsay, um, it does show him place put her back in the vehicle though. It got a little rough. He put her back in the vehicle. He tried to shut the door. She busts out. He take off running and she takes off running behind him. Somebody's kicking my behind. I don't mean no harm. I don't mean not a bit of harm, but I'm not chasing after that fool. As soon as all if if the person had truly assaulted me, I'm calling the police straight off the break. I'm not going back to their crib. Because one, they not married, so it's not like they have like a, a a real bond. You feel me? Let me see. We got some more love. Hold on. Um, I don't know. Um, hello to you. Thank you for the love. I don't. I I can't read that. I don't speak. I don't mean, but um, you don't have footage of him twisting her arm behind her back. What you have is footage of him play, put her back in it, them getting into it, him putting her back in the vehicle, him trying to exit and leave and her chasing behind him. And then she goes back to his house and then lays in the closet, takes some, a whole bunch of stuff and lays in the closet as if she's trying to off herself. The dramatics. But nobody is talking about the fact that she went to the bar, sat in the bar, was on her, using the hand that she says he, he did damage to, talking on the phone, having drinks and some more stuff. So, in my opinion, this is a bunch of bull. I can't, I'm not going to say the word. And y'all know I want to say it. Y'all know I want to say it bad, but Doc didn't say it was time yet, and so I'm not going to say it. Unfortunately, I know some, not all, of our black men love women of other ethnic proportions, right? And that's fine. I'm not judgmental. 
I have women of other ethnic proportions in my family. My my godchildren are half and half. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have any issue with that. What I have an issue with is the ones that make these cases, um, make these cases, and then they sit and dot. Yeah, I'm about to put that on the screen now. Protection or aggression. I felt like he was protecting himself because it looked like she was the aggressor to me. You could go watch the footage yourself and make a decision on your own. But to me, it looked like she was the aggressor and he was trying to get away. I've seen that happen a lot of times. And then I've also seen the same situation. But I don't think it's a race thing. I'm going to be honest with you because it's women of color that will do the same thing. Um, and I mean all color that will do the same thing. Uh, they will lie and manipulate and say that something happened that really didn't happen. It, it happens. It happens. Now, if he did do that, which I didn't see that with my own eyes, so I can't discern whether or not he did it or not. But if he did do that, that's some foul, foul. Ooh, Doc, let me know when I can cuss. But um, it's foul if he did do that. But I didn't see that. The footage that I saw, the footage that I have in my hand right now does not show him doing none of the above. None. So I don't know. Pool. Um, I mean, pool, not race, but in court of law, I would. Yeah, you would. You would. And I ain't going for I'm not going to sit here and lie. I'm not going for Black men have it very hard in this country when it comes to the court of law. You do. Um, but I'm not the court of law. I am the court of public. I'm a part of the court of public opinion. And so if it looks, it looks suspect to me, then I'm going to call it out. If it sounds about right to me, then I'm going to call it out. All right, I got four minutes dead. Nab it. All right, I know you're going to let me know. Jeez, this is the hard. It is so hard to not go off on these people sometimes. I got to wait. That's why we got to move everything. We moving. It's slow. It's a slow progression, but it's happening. Well, we still going to be on YouTube, but there's certain shows that won't be on YouTube. Um, no, It's both. It's a combination, Doc. Doc said, if not race, gender, it's a combination. Because, see, in this country, unfortunately, in this country, it's a combination. And it, it's not just y'all. It's us, too. Us women, too. So here's the thing. Black men always going to have it. It's that slavery mentality. Some of our people have it, but a lot of those people have it. They want to keep us in a certain place. And as long as we stay in that place, we fine. But as soon as we step out of that place, it doesn't matter your race. I mean, well, it, it, it totally matters your race. Let me correct that. Your race totally matters and your gender not so much because a black woman could get that same because then we angry black women. See what I'm saying? Y'all are dangerous and y'all not. It's some great, great black men in this in this world, right? But the way they'll put it is you're aggressive. What they just say about um, Mr. Majors, that he has a history of violence. This is the first time I ever heard of him getting arrested behind some violence. Um, so he's a thug. He's angry. He's he's a brute. He He's dangerous to society because he's a black man. Now, black woman, then we're angry. Not that we're assertive just that we're angry because we don't just want to deal with whatever people have been given to us but never mind the years of systematic oh this oh the years of the system is crazy i'm not angry i'm not angry with anybody but i'm going to tell you like it is and i'm going to tell you what it is and you can be mad at it or you cannot be mad at it but that doesn't mean that i'm angry that just means i'm speaking my mind but they'll do it um the white women Oh, I'm gonna say clear because I don't like saying white. The clear women in is the most protective female. Oh yeah, they are. Oh for sure. Um, yeah, first time I heard it too. He does not have the issues. I, those issues I remember. I, that's what I'm saying. I, I I've never heard. I've never heard him having a history like I've never seen him be arrested for domestic. I mean for DV. I've never seen him get in trouble for DV at all. 
I've never heard anybody say that. And y'all know I'm nosy. I'll be in everybody's business. I've never heard him say that. So um, let's get the update real quick so I can move on. But I've never, ever heard that. Never heard that. So it's just, it's weird how they do things. If you wrong, you wrong, and I'm going to call it out. But in this case, I've never heard any of the things that they're saying about this man. But whatever. So um, there was an update. Hold on. So at 1.30 p.m., um, Mr. Major's attorney says that um, it is clear that the jury did not believe Grace Jabari's story of what happened in the SUV because they found that Mr. Majors did not intentionally, intentionally cause any injuries to her. Um, we're grateful for that. I don't think that he's going to get... Yes! Shit! Y'all know that's the one I got to go to. Um, let the curse words fly, cat. A you big curse. Yes! I love it. Um, but... I don't think that he's gonna get a lot. You know, he's. I don't think he's gonna see a year in prison at all. But the unfortunate part is, this done is damage. Marvel and Disney have dropped him, and I'm not sure who else is gonna shun him for this bullshit. That's some bullshit. It's like you messing with that man's whole life livelihood, but they don't give a shit. They could give two shits about anybody's livelihood. It's just unfortunate so i'm gonna um get those court documents because i would like to dig into what happened during the trial what was said um if not the whole full court documents at least the following you feel me um because i would like to know what was said that made them persuaded them to say guilty on anything i mean maybe they were but he this is what he should he should have when she pressed them charges on him he should have pressed them charges on her because it's footage but you know, black men, sometimes y'all try to be nice to the wrong ones. And it's unfortunate. And she obviously was the wrong one to try to be nice to. But I digress. Let's get back into We got some other stuff to discuss. It's just nuts. Like, all of that is nuts to me. It's another something I wanted to go through. Hold on. Um, no, that ain't that. So, yeah, it's just nuts to me. Like, so anybody can say anything and it's okay. Like that's insane. Hi, Rock. Wet and wired court talk. Jonathan Major ad Major Edition. Yeah, because I think that we should talk about that. I really do. That's one of those cases I want to dive into too. And maybe it'll take some of the darkness away for a brief because we gotta get back to this. It won't, like I said, it won't be this Wednesday because we gotta get back into the second case for Diddy. But I think I am going to pull those court records so I can see, you know, so I can see what was said in court because now it's, you know, it's public. So whatever. Hi, Rock. I, I shouted you out er earlier, honey. Um, So let's get to some, uh, some more. It's more lawsuits. Sorry. But that's what's going on right now. A lot of lawsuits, a lot of people. <sighs> Tied up in some mess that they don't have no business being tied up into. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Um, but we gonna see. We gonna see. So Takashi six nine. Let's talk about him. I haven't talked about this fool um in a minute. Hold on. Let me put that on the screen so um Rock can see it. That salute to Rock. Hey Rock. What up? Boop. So um. But let, yeah, let's get to this real quick because I want to um, get to this case real quick. Um, so his valuable assets could be on the auction block soon in order to test um, to satisfy nearly ten million dollars in judgment against him by a stripper who claims that he hit her in the head with a bottle of champagne. Jeez, Louise, it's going down off this piece. I'm not covering this case. I don't even like this dude for real, for real. So do we going to talk about this now? And it's probably going to be last time we talk about him. Um, I should have covered that, that tradeway case. That's what I should have covered, but I did. I wasn't ready for that. Right? So according to new docs obtained, a receiver has been appointed to take control of the rapper's assets, items like his Rolls Royce and his um, Florida um, mansion and the cell, um, and sell off of whatever ne um, ne um, necessary, whatever, and to sell off whatever is necessary um, to pay off the 
$8.25 million judgment that he's been ordered to pay. Um, dancer Alexis Celeb... Uh, I'm not going to say this right. Celebarios um, got a hefty judgment back in July, more than two years after she initially filed the lawsuit, but it hasn't been paid. Mm. Let me find out he's doing a talk to Kate on, on this girl which is why she got a judge to appoint a receiver to liquidate his stuff. And he has more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, Doc. Let me let me get to this. So um, the receiver has a lot of power, allowed to break any locks necessary to gain access to any real property. Um, so Takashi was sued by Alexis in 2001 after allegedly hitting her in the head inside Gold Rush Cabaret in Miami. Her attorney told us that um, he she, he tried hitting someone else for calling him a rat, but he missed and ooh, clocked her inside the head. Jeez Louise. So not only is that happening to him right now, but then he's got this thing going on with his girlfriend. She going nuts um there's video footage of a fight that they just had on the 14th of this month um and she doing damage to his cars and all kinds of stuff so her name is um yeah y'all i can't even say her name <laughs> i'm not gonna lie um but his girlfriend is now also in hot water um she was arrested on felony charge for allegedly assaulting him at the video show her smacking him repeatedly with a two by four. So he got a lot of stuff going on right now. And ooh, child, 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 he better duck. <laughs> Bob and weaving duck. Nigga, Bob and weaving duck. So Doc said, remember that final exam about the breath? She went to jail. Yeah, I remember that. I remember us talking about that. Bottles and having too much fun wasn't equal to um a good outcome. And you can't be mad that people calling you a rat. You testified against your comrades. You you let these dudes fucking uh water walking watching Cat Lee is the best. <laughs> but listen, you let these dudes come in to whatever you wanted to build. They gave you street cred, and then you turned around and snitched on them. And it it would be different if you were just a civilian and you snitched on them, but you were taking part in a lot of criminal activity and then you turned around and snitched on them. Now, you're going to say it's because um, they smack, one of them smashed, um, shoddy smashed your baby mother. you want to say because they was trying to take your life, but uh, let's keep it a buck. It was because you didn't want to go to prison. For as long as you was going to go to prison, you they you had some time they was going to give you. So let's keep it a buck. Let's say that. Let's not just say that it's because. So when somebody sees you, when they got you in that bathroom or whatever, locker room, bathroom, whatever the hell it was, they was doing that because you snitched. Now you mad at somebody. Well, in 2021, you was mad at somebody because they called you a snitch in a club. So you threw a bottle at them. You cannot be mad. You got an album, and on the album cover, it's a rat depicted as you. What are you mad for? I don't understand. You're retarded, boy. <sighs> you are retarded. retarded. I feel like any Diddy um, news, we're going to keep that for Wednesday because it's it'll tie, it'll tie into what we got going on. Um, cause we still got more Diddy to talk about. So we'll cover all the Diddy news on Wednesday. So Kanye, I know y'all seen us. I know. I know y'all seen us already. If you haven't, I'm going to tell you what happened. But for those who've seen it, just chime in and let me know that you, that you saw it and what you feel about what he was saying. Now, it is one thing that he did say. And I'm going to be honest with you, and I'm going to pull it up on my phone because I don't want to lose what I got going on over here. But um, it's one thing that he did say, and I'm a, I'm not going to lie to you. I agree with it. And I'm going to tell you why when I get to it. But a, a, um, Kanye is apparently in the grips of a serious mental 
health episode. Is it or is it not? See, this is the question, because they always say that when they want you to think that they're crazy. They said that about, and not that I'm saying that Jaguar Wright is not crazy, but they said that about her and a lot of the things that, okay, you did see it, Doc, awesome. Um, They said that about her, but a lot of the things that she was saying was true. So in my mind, sometimes I feel like they throw that out there to make you feel like you you saying something or like he, you know, you say he is crazy. <laughs> He got a, he, what I say is every savant has a touch of madness, but some, I'm going to get to it. Let me get, let me read the story and we'll talk about it. All right. So, um, that's the only conclusion to draw from his, um, furious rant attacking his ex business partners, Donald Trump. And of course the Jews, I hate when I got to say that, but he's not attacking all Jews. And that's what I want y'all to understand. It's a difference. It's a big difference. Um, he's, he's not attacking the tribe of Judah. Let's just stop there. But anyway, um, so he is attacking people looking like a cult leader. Kanye was surrounded by a few dozen people. See why the cult leader, though? <laughs> Crazy people speak a lot of truth. They do. They do. Um, but why a cult leader, though? So um, looking like a cult leader, Kanye was surrounded by a few dozen people earlier Friday morning somewhere in Las Vegas when he just lost it. During a um, roughly 10-minute explosive um, explosion, he seemed to draw a direct line from Jesus to himself. That would probably be the crazy part. Um, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I lost it. Okay, from, um, Jesus to himself. Okay, Jesus Christ, Hitler, yay. Sponsor, sponsor that. So he's saying he's part Jesus, part Hitler, and part Kanye. That's where the craziness would go. <laughs> That's where that would come in. He also rolled out one of his favorite um, anti-Semitic gems, claiming Zionist Jews. That's why I say he wasn't talking about the tribe of Judah. Um, Zionist Jews on all the banks, hospitals, and even private schools in, Lo in Los Angeles. Do we die? I, I, I don't see no lie. Um, broken clocks is right two times a day, exactly. At 12 and at 12. Um, Kanye <laughs> wants to be a cult leader. <laughs> that I could see, but I don't think the people in the room was a part of his cult. He's not the Messiah. He is not. Um, and that, that I gotta leave that for another day because again, I was born a Jew, so I can't, you know what I mean? Like, whatever. During the rant, which was live streamed by several people in the room, including Miami influencer Yes Jules, who was standing next to him, Kanye ring I'm um, screaming, fuck Balenciaga, Gap, and Louis Vuitton. He also said that he wouldn't support. Donald Trump's um, run for president if he didn't um, free Larry Hoover from prison. Kanye, I don't think Donald Trump is worried about your support. He's part of the reason why they're saying you're crazy now, just so you know. Um, perhaps the most troubling part was when he started yelling about his daughter, presumably North, as he screamed, my daughter ripped up the motherfucking couches in the house to be able to be with me right now i'm i'm gonna go with that he was talking about north because that that is his favorite child the other children he love them for sure he loves saint he loves shy he loves um the other one i don't know all of their names but he loves them but that is his mini me that's his baby that's the one he loved above all of them like she the first so anyway um she and she was with him in um she uh was with him in Vegas um for a listening event um for his new vultures album. Oof. And it was a lot of people, but um he did have her on there rapping. Um he said, I still keep some jewel Jews in management. Nah, I only let them do my jewelry. Ooh. Kanye is out here going ham. During the rant, Kanye um 
I'm not going to go through his his guard rant. But one thing he did say, which I I don't uh, disagree with, said it before. Um, yeah, you did say, Doc. You keep saying that. One thing I will agree with um, that he said, and a lot of people or a lot of people not of color won't agree with me, and some people of color will agree with me, which is um, he said we're we're not black. What is black? Show me a black person on this planet. I agree. We are not black. <laughs> we came from uh, many, many, some of us from many, many different societies and cultures. And a lot of our skin is brown, but not black. I'm not black, but I'm brown. My skin is brown. But what he said is we're Native Americans. That's what he said. Well, he said Indians, but I'm one of the few percentile that can say I do have Native American DNA. <laughs> Facts. Documented. Um, but, you know, I, I get where he's going with it a little bit. Eh? Does he go off on a rant and say some crazy shit from time to time? Of course he does. He has. He does have mental health issues. Did he have a call? I'm not going to say that was his call. I'm going to say he was in a room full of people and he just had one of his breaks. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm not going to say that was his call. Um, does he lie about some things? I mean, is he lying about something? Well, I don't think he's lying. I think he's just having um, a, a breakdown, a mental breakdown. Is he, do I believe some of the things that he says? Some of them, not all of them, but some things he says, I agree with. And don't worry about Donald Trump supporting you, Kanye. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. Let me flip that. Don't worry about Donald Trump worrying about your support. He said you're crazy. Uh, he has all the things to not, um, he has all the things to not care. Yeah, he does. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, let's get the meat meal real quick. So, um, he was in his emotions. Um, he came pouring out, they came pouring out while speaking at a signing of a probation, um, reform bill in Philadelphia, which was long, long needed. It's crazy up north with these probation situations. His tears were clearly related to the memories of his own years of legal woes. Um, Governor Josh Shapiro signed the bill inside the Phillies National um, Constitu Con <laughs> Constitution Center. And Meek Mill recalled the anxiety he had risking his freedom crossing state lines to New Jersey just to take his son to school when he was on probation years ago. Um, he did. He, 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 he. I could see why he would be emotional. It's a lot of, and I'm not a Mick, a, a Meek Mill fan. Like I'm not like as far as I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna. Lie. I'm he cool. I don't got no beef with him. I don't got like, but I'm not really a Meek Mill kind of girl, right? Um, too much yelling for me it gives me a headache. But um, I could see how those woes that he had with jail and all of that stuff and. Um, going through the probation and dealing with that judge who was doing a lot of shady stuff. I could see how that took a mental toll on him. I could see how it stressed him out. I could see how that would do that. And especially when you got a child that does not live in the state of Pennsylvania, but across the way in Jersey. You know what I'm saying? And you want to be a parent and you want to take your kid to school. You want to, you know, you these are things that you want to do. You want to be a better parent than your parents were to you. So I could see how that ha would have taken a toll on him. So, yeah, man. Yeah, man. <sighs> but big shout out to him for fighting for probation reform. I, I, I commend him for that. I will commend him for that. Let's keep it moving, though. I don't want to stick on meat mail too long. Uh, Shug Knight says he's been hacked. He said his uh, Twitter account, I'm never going to call it X. I'm always going to call it Twitter. Um, and his Facebook pages are fake. Okay, people over here sharing my post. I don't know what post they sharing. Um, but he says, so Shug Knight says he's not, he's got nothing to do with the recent string of social media posts drumming, um, drumming up about Tupac, the Tupac conspiracy theories or old beefs with Snoop Dogg and Diddy because he has no access to his those accounts. 
Mm. So he says that someone is out to destroy his reputation by hacking into his Twitter um, and Facebook accounts. Um, he says the hacker is attempting to come off as the um, real deal by posting clips of Shook's collect call podcast and old photos. The incarcerated music mogul says that he has no issues standing on anything that he's ever said on the podcast or otherwise, but he can't condone the activity on the social account, which was created, um, which created Daz Dillinger's um, current riff with Snoop. Mm. Shug is in prison for 28 years. Well, they, he's, they sentenced him to 28 years. Uh, and he said, you know, he don't got no access. He can't do nothing on Twitter and he can't do nothing on Facebook. Um, it's a hacker. I told y'all he got a um, podcast, though. I told y'all that. I think I told y'all that a little while ago that he, in light of the situation with, um, you know, uh, Keefy D getting arrested, you know, um, and Diddy's involved, alleged involvement, him and, you know, they, they he created, you know, even though he's in prison, they created a podcast. So um, he said, that's not him, though. It's not him. He didn't do it. He cre- he didn't create anything. Um, okay, let's get to uh, Anita Baker. <laughs> we need to get to her already. I've been trying to hold her for last because it's Anita. But Anita Baker's l- latest live per- performance is catching a little heat after she apparently got testy with the audience out in Texas, parts in which um, parts in which were captured on video. The legendary crooner, um, crooner was doing a show in Houston. I hate when they um, call a female crooner. Um, a show in Houston Toyota Center Friday night and playing a pretty solid, playing to a pretty solid size um, audience. But at certain points during the gig, um, Anita appears to have gotten into it a bit with some folks down in the front. Old child, not in the front. There are two videos in particular that are circulating online right now. One shows Anita telling some people right below her um, near the stage to stop recording. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. But if you're going to do that, you should always um, do like other artists do, like make them check their phones in or leave their phone. You can't bring a phone into the venue. Um, so, um, and that was in the middle of the song. The other moment where Anita could be seen in her asking her security to boot folks. So, okay. I don't know if I'm mad at that. I don't know if I'm mad at that. Um, Anita can be an ass. She's already, she already has a legacy. Yeah, true. But, I'm not mad at even if, let's say, because she is legendary status, but let's say she a little bit, she she lower, she lower on the total pool. I'm trying to think of an artist that I could I can name that's not on her level. Um let's say well Tiana would never do that, but I'm gonna use my um my imaginary lev- lesbian lover that I'm never <laughs> I'm never gonna be a lesbian, but she's in my head. She's my imaginary lesbian lover. Um, lover Tiana Taylor. Let's say Tiana is doing a show, and perhaps she says a lot of artists do this now. No phones are allowed. No recording is allowed in here. So you need to put. I think they give them like a a place where they're supposed to put their phones at, or they tell them simply they can't bring their phones into the venue. And I think that with Anita Anita being as legendary as she as she is, I think that's fair. I think that she's allowed to ask that. Now, I don't feel like booting people out because they not they not respecting my wishes is is necessarily her going off. I feel like, all right, I asked you not to record, you still recording, you gotta go. I'm in here trying to put on a show for you. You can't pay attention to the show if you you focus on your phone. I think even um Beyonce said that before. Um, you gonna miss the moment. Now I don't know nothing about Anita and new music, but I know she out here giving it the best that she got, baby. 
Um, so she wants you to pay attention. <laughs> she, she wants you to pay attention to her show and pay attention to her damn show. She said, I'm giving you the best that I got. Shit. If no, we've seen this already. Um, I don't know anything about new music. We just know that she they said that she was going off on a rant, but she really wasn't. All right, I got to get to my love. Um, Instagram, y'all not going to get it like how everybody else gets it because one is, well, I could do it. Let me put, I'm going to put it on both screens. How about that? I'm a multitask. Y'all ready? <laughs> Look at that. I'm multitasking and stuff. <laughs> oh, doc, you're going to be proud of me today. Let me get to my love. I got to get to my love. I do. You're going to be real proud of me. I'm not going to do it until he put that on the screen. Exactly. You knew where I was going. I'm not doing this because I have to explain the love notes real quick. So love plus show notes equal love notes. Me and Doc used to go back and forth. He called them show notes. He said my notes was the size of a competition um, composition notebook. They weren't. But I used to have a stack of papers that I used to read from the thing that you're about to see on the screen. Um, And it's my love. It's my love for those who download this podcast, my listening audience, because they listen and they show love. And I I love them. I love you guys, too, that watch it. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. But these people listen. They don't necessarily know what I look like. They don't they don't see and they just come and they listen. So I appreciate them so much. I got some news. Ah, you're going to be proud of me tonight, Doc. Let me give me a second. Give me a second. Um, I do have some potential news. We'll talk about it in a minute. But um, let's get to the love notes. I had to take that off the screen, though, because we always be doing that. And then I'll be covering up people's names. Let's get to the love notes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, Hold on. All right. Big love. I love you guys. Big shout out to my top six, the United States, the United Kingdom, India, France, Canada, and Belgium specifically. Brussels. I love you, man. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you, guys. They always hold me down. I appreciate that. Russia, Indonesia, Japan, New Zealand, Australia, Turkey, Switzerland, Germany, Mexico, Austria, Philippines, Kenya. Hi, babies. I love you. Thank you so much. Pakistan, Romania, South Africa, Nigeria, Brazil, Netherlands, uh, Singapore, Spain, Japan, Ireland, and Nepal. I love you all. Y'all know I do. Y'all know I do. Y'all know I do. Um, Moretus, Israel, Hong Kong, China, Poland, Tunisia, Venezuela, baby, Czech Republic, uh, Portugal, and Morocco. Hi, booze. I love you too. Thank you. And last but not least, Ghana. Hi, Ghana. I love you so much. I'm leaving space on this list for any other newcomers. Um, because I feel like y'all deserve the love too. So I got to leave some space on this list for y'all as well. AU, big freaking purr. Man, AU, big freaking purr merch coming soon. Oh, and this look is cute. Um, whatever. I'm not, I'm not going to prematurely give y'all the deets. Um, also, not only merch coming soon, um, couple of, a couple of stations coming soon. I'll just say that. We got some things in the work over here. <laughs> some things we over here bubbling um big shout out to my peoples I, i'm gonna give him love in a second but uh yeah we got some things going on this is stations with an s <laughs> it's not singular it's pl- plural we're gonna talk about it when it's time though um so some things in the works Oh, man, I can't believe I was able, actually able to go live on, um, oh, my gosh, all kinds of stuff is happening on IG right now. I can't believe I was able actually able to go live on IG. I'm happy about that. Um, I'm going to go back on IG and watch the live to see how it rolled out. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, we're just testing out a few things, um, and it's good that I get to test it out without... IG can't do it. What? IG what? What happened on IG? Stop. Tell me. Um, oh, yeah. IG can't get a lot of the things that we got going on because I'm trying to test out this IG ter- um, theory because they just added um, the feature for me to add 
the IG. Okay, okay, okay. Don't I, it on IG? Yeah, I, they just added that feature to the platform that I use, and so I always wanted to go live on IG without going live on my phone, and I wanted IG to have some of the available features that we have. Um, yeah, I'm hoping the ratio is right because that was the other weird thing with the other platform I was I'm using the the, the ratio was weird. Um, but if it's not, when well, we'll talk about we'll put in my little listen, y'all gotta get this together because we need it right. Um, IG is not getting everything that you guys are getting over here, but let me see, they are getting some of it. Um, don't forget, oh my gosh, let me put this on the screen really, really quickly. Hold on. Don't forget, we got some things happening at the top of the year, so I need y'all to be abreast and not forget about it. On January the 6th, 2024, we will have Linwood on the show, and we will be talking about his brand. We'll be talking about his music. We will be talking about some of everything. So make sure you tune in for that show. It's another smoke break. That's right, Doc. You better tell him it's a smoke break. It's another smoke break. We, we ended the year with a smoke break. We start the year with a smoke break. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Y'all know I like doing interviews. Interviews are fun. I have the most fun doing interviews. So me and him have been in touch. Um, we definitely are confirming what's going on. Um, so yeah, um, send him some of the possible interview questions and all of that stuff. So we're getting ready for the rollout. We're getting ready. So anything else I need to talk about? So we talked. The merch is coming. I just, uh, I one more time, I got to go over it and then I got y'all. Um, stations. You got one question already for who? Linwood or for me? <laughs> I'm glad, and I if I'm glad you got a question if you already got a question. Um, for him, yeah, I'm ready. Make sure you y'all come with the questions too. I got questions, but I might miss some questions, so I might need you guys to fill in some questions that I might have missed. So yeah, definitely. I hope you got some questions for him. Doc, what is our um what is our, our final exam? What the year? Cause you you still gotta give me um, but that is not until the day before that interview. You gotta give me um oh okay. All right, hold on one second. You gotta give me uh the what um you want the topic to be for the fifth, but did we choose a date? I mean, did we choose a genre or a date for this tomorrow? Um, let me in. All right, it's from the bomb interview. Be more stuff. Okay, so what's the question, baby? Or you want to ask him? We got one more from me. So I don't. Okay, well, you'll you'll tell me in a second. I'm not gonna rush you. I'm, not, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. But, um, so yeah, you'll ask him who bomb. You gonna ask bomb or you gonna ask Linwood? Um, cause bomb ain't. Well, I got some things in the work with bomb too. So <laughs> we we are out here getting busy on a business tip. Uh, we are out here getting busy on a business tip. Like we, we trying to do some things. We trying to elevate. Not only uh, we trying to elevate. So I, I got some things I gotta say because I can't leave these things out. Um. Oh, you gonna ask Linwood? Okay. Um, pick your final exam. Mm. So what did we have? Like I think it was nineteen ninety nine. I believe the last one was. So I'm going to go, I'm going to take it back. I want to go to 1995. That sound good? Some years we're going to have to go back to anyway because a lot of whatever we got going on. And I think I'm going to um, take it a, 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 a step because um, it's like I'm almost creeping back to the 80s a little bit, but whatever. Okay. So um, 1995, I think, for this, this tap in. Um. Yeah, yeah. So some things happening. So let me get the things I need to say out of the way. First things first, if you would like to come on this podcast, if you would like to submit your freestyle for our um, Thorough Thursday freestyle, I was a... <laughs> 
Okay. Um, don't be putting my business out there, Doc. Like, no, nah, it is what it is. I'm proud of that. But if you would like to sit down for an interview, if you would like to submit your um, Thorough Thursday Freestyle for the Thorough Thursday Freestyle competition, if you have a suggestion, if you're looking for advertisement or a sponsorship, a sponsorship situation, I don't know why I'm getting tongue-tied right now. If you want, a, if you want to just say hi, hit us up ambitiouslythepodcast at gmail.com. Again, the email address is ambitiouslythepodcast at gmail.com. Yes. Um, when I play videos, I have permission to play those. Just know that. Join the conversation. Drop a comment. Send a text. You can call in. You'll be live on air. So be on your best behavior. You can ask me to drop the link. You also should be on your best behavior because you will be live on air. And if you come up here doing dumb stuff, I'm going to read that ass for filth. Know that. Um, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to this podcast. We need every like, every share, every subscription, every single one. Uh, we do join our coffee, coffee, um, coffee.com slash ambitiously ENT. We are trying to build our community because I can't say all the things I want to say on YouTube. I can say a little something on Facebook, but then they be muting all my music and stuff when I play the mix. And then, well, I don't got no complaints about Twitch at all. Not one. I don't, got no, I don't got no complaints about Twitch. But Facebook and YouTube, they be on one. So we got to build our community so that we can do all the things that we would like to do. How about that? Um, shout out to my DJ. Go DJ, because that's my DJ. He is working on the mix as we speak. So be ready. We got another one. And hopefully we won't have any of the bullshit problems we had this Friday that just passed. I'm just saying. Um, but he's working on it. And... Again, big shout out to him because he he he's trying to help me do some things too, and I'm trying to help him do some things. And I like when we teamwork make the dream work, baby. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? Look out for each other. Um, if you would like to donate to the show, dollar sign capital L U R L U C I D I T Y, Lord Lucidity to lure them in clearly. That's what it means. It's scrolling on the screen, and if you look at it's underneath my name. It's been underneath there the whole night. I'm just saying. Um, and let us know how you feel about the fire mixes. Not this last one. I know how I felt about it. I felt like I'm mad that it got cut short because it was a good, good ass mix. It was dope. It was fire. So hip hop. It was, it was boom back. It was given. It was given. It was given. Um, but let us know how you feel about the mixes. Wow. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. I got all that I want to. So let me get back. So you said you want excellent wood. Okay. 1995. I was a sophomore in 1995. <laughs> okay, bet. We worldwide run at um run at your th- run at your threat. Nope. I'm not running at, I'm running away from my threat. I don't got time. Well, no, nah, I ain't running. It's gonna get physical. Sorry. Um <laughs> top flight cat lee, bobs and weave, not a hairstyle, dummy. Nope. I do. Bob and Weave. That's what Takashi need to do. Bob and Weave. He need to... Because <laughs> she had a two by four. <laughs> I seen the video. She was not playing one shot. She was hitting him and the cars. And he better get them cars out of there because he need to sell them so he could pay that stripper her money. Because he know he ain't got no $10 million to spare right now. <laughs> I gave Wildfields on, fr- on Friday. Fr- on Fire Friday. Did you read my comments? No, but I'm gonna go back and make sure that I, I do. Um, I do. I, Fire Friday was weird. Uh, it was so weird. It hurt my feelings. My whole feelings was freaking hurt on Fire Friday. So hopefully this Fire Friday we won't have the same complications that we had the last time. Um, I don't know what happened. It wasn't on me. More so maybe the internet company because they be on their best bullshit. Uh, I'm going to go see. I'm going to check them out as soon as I finish. As a matter of fact, I can check it out right now. If that, hold on. But um, yeah, man. I don't know what was going on with them on Friday. All I know is we were in mid mix and then it was gone and then I had to come back in and another it just was stupid, man. It was stupid. Anyway, yeah. I'm about to um go check your comments now. 
I might drop a comment on the actual, you know, whatever. But, um, or I might read it right now. Hold on. We in there, baby. We in there, baby. Let me see what happened on Friday. Friday. Let's see what you had to say, Doc. It was retarded. I was mad. I was highly upset. Oh, okay. What you doing? Okay, okay, okay. Technical difficulties. I see I watch. Hey cat. Mix was seven out of ten. Um, the music was right, except for the technical difficulties. Yeah. At the twenty one mark. Yeah, I know exactly where it happened at. I I know exactly where it happened at, but thank you. Um of the show. Cash on the rewatch. AU Big Pearl. Yay! AU Big Pearl. I love the AU Big Pearl. Thank you, Doc, baby. Yeah, I, I yeah, I know where it was because I was highly upset. Like, what the? This was my face. What the hell happened? What happened? I was going, I man, I was in here cussing, all kinds of stuff. Then we had to drop and then I had to come back. And then by that time, like I, I couldn't start it back up, but I got it under control. I got it. I got it. This Friday, I hope that we don't have any of those problems. Also, um, Fire Fridays, we will be transitioning them. I seen the stamps. I seen them. Um, this Fire Friday, I mean, Fire Fridays for right now are where they are, but they will be moving because, again, I might do the Fire Friday on um, Twitch, YouTube, and, and um, IG. Versus doing it on Facebook because they always give me complications and they mute my music. So I'm tired of that shit. And IG is a little bit more um, lenient with playing music. So I think we might be doing that. But it'll still be on um, YouTube and it'll still, for right now, it'll still be on YouTube and it'll still be on Twitch. But I think we're going to move it over to IG um, just because they're nicer over there. And I saw your time stamps, baby. <laughs> I seen them. Um, so yes, we gotta get to this. Okay, you know how I get in contact with me, Doc. You know where I'm at, baby. Um, hold on, and then people in here sending me stuff. I don't know you people. Um, anyway, so on Messenger. So uh yeah, you know how I get out with me though, Doc. Uh, first things first, mind your business. It's not for media in my days where I tell you everybody's business because I'm freaking nosy and I like you to be nosy. I love it when you nosy with me. It's beautiful. We just be nosy together, talk about stuff and all that good stuff. So join us on media in my days and be nosy there. Or sometimes on the tap and some people's business might seep out. And then on Wet and Wild Wednesdays, I'm definitely telling everybody's business because some of these people get on my nerves with the behavior that they exhibit. It's horrible. Stop it. Um, but anyway, but other than that, mind your business. It's a safer way to live. Just come here for the gab beat. Uh, love your babies. Hug your babies. Encourage your babies. You are the first line of defense when it comes to these children. So love them. Tell them they want to work for NASA. Then tell them to be the best astronaut, engineer, receptionist, uh, freaking janitor, secretary, or whatever the hell else they do over there at NASA. I don't know. I've never worked there. If they want to work for NASCAR, tell them to be the best NASCAR driver, pit boss, freaking commentator, or whatever the hell else they do over there at NASCAR. I don't know. I've never worked there either. They just drive really fast. That's all I know. But the point is, encourage them to be great at whatever it is they seek to do with their futures. That's my point. Um, and remember always to tell them that they are the great. Is they are the greatest of all times. They are the goat. Doc put it on the screen every day for me, but. I mean, every day I go live, he put it on there for me. Because it's the point. Tell them they to go. Tell them. They need it. Tell them. Tell them. It's this way. Tell them. <laughs> Which way it is. It's one of them. Just tell them. It's the point. Um, stay in your lane. Hold on, because I got to get ready. AU Big Purr. I got to get ready for this. Stay in your lane. Don't jump in my lane, because you jump in my lane, you getting this. Yeah. On name only, honey. I'm big on that. Mm hmm. I don't bite your head off. You don't want that. You want her. She's. Hold on. She's. Oh, no. <gasps> hold on. Let's try this again. I think I. All right. We got it. 
Oh, I thought I deleted it, y'all. Not my boo. Not not her. Cause she's nice, sweet, kind, and cuddly, and all like that stuff. Or at least her. Cause a ye big purr, a ye big purr, baby. You want cat when she purring? Cause when cat is purring, she is a happy, 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 happy girl. You don't want the first one. You want the second two. Um, they nice and sweet and all that good stuff. You just want love on them, but you don't want the first one. Um, because what usually happens when you jump into other people's lanes is a collision. And who the fuck needs that? Nobody. So just stay in your lane so nobody has a collision. That's all I'm saying. That's all I've been saying. And last but not least, pick and choose your battles wisely. Every battle is not a battle for you to fight. <sighs> Worry about the war. Mob Deep tell y'all that all the time. Worry about the war. Don't worry about these little bullshit Manita's battles that mean nothing. Nothing at all. Just brush that shit off and worry about the war. And with that being said, I got everything out of That was a lot to get out. I say a lot. I talk a lot. Where's my water? I'm, I'm, I'm losing my breath. I get thirsty. I get caught mouth sometimes. You gotta work with the kid, though. But at the end of the day, I love you guys. Thank you for the support in advance. Thank you for the past support. Just thank you for, for holding it down and supporting what I got going on. I've gotten a lot of messages lately telling me not to quit. Don't worry, I'm not. I like what I do. And as, as, as long as I stay determined, it will grow. It will, you know what I mean? Like it'll, it'll come together. It just, it takes time and I'm not in a rush. I want to, I want my baby to grow. I don't want it to just be like a quick growth. I want it to be a lasting growth an impactful growth. So I don't worry about it. I'm not going anywhere. But anyway, y'all, I got to get up out of here. I love y'all. Be safe. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, Doc, baby. I always got to show you love. And I'll see you, to I'll see you tomorrow. And I'll see y'all tomorrow for the tapping. Good night. Bye. Ooh.